Okay everyone, just a quick video to show you how to set up the uh, template using um, Tanker ER9X. Now I'm going to use the new 9XR radio, um, but it's exactly the same as with your standard 9X. Okay, so we're going to set up at the LMOD Pro template into our module. So the first thing we need to do is go to the templates screen. So press the minus button there. Well, it's no longer the minus button, it's just that button. Okay, uh, all the way across till we get to templates. Okay, now we have a look at our LMOD Pro template. We'll see that's number five, and we need to scroll down and have a look at its channel order, which is across there on the right. And we'll see the channel order for the LMOD Pro is T R E A. Okay, so throttle is on channel one, and rudder is on channel two, and that's different to the Tamiya. So we keep moving down to the very bottom of the templates page and you'll see the channel order setting. We need that to match uh, the LMOD setting. So we need to change that from RTEA to TREA. So keep, there we go, TREA. So that's the first thing we need to do. Okay, once you've changed the channel order to TREA, press exit and exit again. And that'll bring you back to the main screen. Next thing we need to do is um, find a spot where we're going to apply our LMOD Pro model. So again, press this button to get to our model select screen. Now we're going to apply it to, oh, let's use num model number five, slot number five. Okay, you could have used slot number two, but any blank spot. Go to number five and press exit twice. And um, there we have. Now when you do that, it sets up the default template into model 5 which is unfortunately uh, well not unfortunately but it is the Tamiya is the uh, default model setting so that's probably gone into model 5 now we need to change that to the LMOD settings so all we do is go again now we're in model 5 to the templates menu okay down to LMOD Pro and press menu twice Okay, exit, exit. Now we should have our LMOD Pro settings imported into model five. Now let's just check that, okay. Throttle should be on channel one. If you move the throttle up and down, we see channel one moves only. Rudder on channel two. Elevator on channel three. And turret rotation on channel four. So that's all perfect. Okay, now to turn our model on and off, we have this switch here. So up, we'll notice on channel five, turn the tank on, turn the headlight on and off, down. Okay, on, off tank, on, off headlight. Channel six now on the LMOD Pro um, is used to activate the weapons. So our back switch here is for our cannon. Okay, push that up, that will fire our cannon. Our back switch across on the other side here is for our machine gun. Click that, and that fires our machine gun. This switch here is set to fire our auxiliary machine gun. So the gear switch, flick that, and you'll notice it only goes to half deflection. Okay, so that will fire our auxiliary machine gun. Now, channels 6, 7, and eight are all designated to the sounds, the user sounds. Okay, so over here, the AL switch, oh, actually that's the rudd, I forget which switch that is, but this switch over here, flick that, it'll activate sound A, flick this switch, activates sound B. Now, to get to the other two sounds, we move this switch to the up position, and flick these switches again. That will activate sound C now, and this switch here will activate sound D. Okay, now the only thing we need to add to the template, which I have not done, okay, is a settings for the auxiliary light. You may want to add the auxiliary light. And we're going to use uh, this, this switch here to trigger our auxiliary light. So to put that in, we go to our mix page, scroll down to channel five, all the way down to that line appears there because we're going to insert a mix. Press menu. Okay. 
and we're going to insert a mix there. Our source is going to be half. Now, according to the LMOD manual, it's down half deflection. So that will be minus 50. 100 being full, and half of 100 is 50. Now you may need to whittle, well, fiddle around with um, that setting according to you know what the LMOD Pro module actually likes and what the receiver is sending out. But set it off on minus 50 and adjust up and down until you get the required light turning on and off. Now I'm going to set that switch to the rudder. Is that, that switch there is the rudder switch. There we go. And press exit. And exit again. And exit again. Now when we flick the rudder switch, you'll see that we have minus half deflection on channel 5. So according to the LMOD manual, that turns on and off our auxiliary light. So to run through all those again, channel 1, our throttle. See movement there on channel 1, so that's all good. Channel 2 is our rudder. That's all good. Channel 3 is elevator. Our ter uh, sorry, our gun up and down. That's all right. Four is our turret rotation, so that's all perfect. Five, on and off of the tank, up and down, perfect. And on and off of our headlight, the other way. Turn on and off our auxiliary light, the rudder switch. See, minus 50% down deflection. To fire our cannon, this switch here at the back. To fire our machine gun, this switch on the other side. To fire our auxiliary machine gun, as you can see, half deflection. And to fire, sorry, that's it. Um, now onto our sounds. Sound A, sound B. Now, because we're using the rudder switch for auxiliary light, when we activate sounds C and D, our um, auxiliary light will also be on. So if you click that on, we can access now sounds C and sounds D. Okay. Now, for any reason, some of these settings uh, work the other way around. Remember to go, take a note of what they are, and to go to the limit section. And if something's operating in reverse, simply find that channel and press the menu to set that to reverse. You might need to do that for some of the settings. Um, but so that's the, I won't, you won't know until you actually set it up. But uh, if anything's operating in reverse, the limits page is where you need to be. Um, and go right across and set to inverse here to reverse those channel settings. Okay, so there you have it. That's all good. That's how you apply your templates using Tanker ER9X. Thank you.